Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Visibility is down. We have big time fog across parts of our area. Some seeing a little improvement watching Tacoa, watching Elberton with a slightly reduced foggy uh, setup. But Clemson, Pickens, Anderson, Abbeville and Lawrence all dealing with very thick fog. There is a fog advisory for uh, the upstate and northeast Georgia until 10 a.m. It does exclude Gaffney, Union and Newberry and the mountains are not included in this. Those are spots that are not going to see nearly as much if any fog, but still these spots where it's thick. It's going to linger through about 10 a.m. We've got milder air building in from the south, and it's also more moist outside today, so the air is kind of humid as you start your morning. I'm watching a couple passing showers throughout the mountains, Cullowee, Silva, Franklin, Bryson City, all seeing a little bit of this spotty rain so far. That should not last for most of your day today. As we go through future cast, you're going to see a sprinkle at times, but mostly a dry day with a cloudier sky. Tonight into tomorrow morning, that's when the rain really starts to move in. It comes from the south. It pulls in moisture as early as 6 or 7 a.m. Isolated downpours are possible. It'll stay on and off, but widespread through about midday and then into the afternoon. We might even see a couple rumbles of thunder as we get this system to really pump in. Now it's likely to taper off late Saturday night into Sunday. Only a few leftover showers possible for Sunday afternoon, but most of this will dry out. We'll start to see some sun peek through and the end of the weekend just gets a little chillier than what we've been feeling in total between Saturday and Sunday. Rain totals could be anywhere from a quarter to a half an inch in general. That's fairly normal for a system like this to come through. I'm not expecting big issues with flooding or any other big concern temperatures right now. 40s and 50s. It's feeling really mild and nice outside. Highs today get nearly 15 degrees above average, 71 degrees when usually it's about 55. So with a sprinkle and generally just dry weather, it's going to feel pretty good if you have outdoor plans. North Carolina, 68 degrees. Isolated showers, a light breeze. Not a bad day to be out and about because the shower chance is very, very small. Tonight, we're looking again at isolated rain, but overall, mild temperatures and a cloudy sky. It stays in the 50s in the overnight. Now, tomorrow stays in the upper 60s. Another mild day with widespread rain on and off. Sunday's a lot cooler, down to 56 degrees with a small chance of a sprinkle left over. Then it clears quickly into early next week. Monday's the last day of fall. 52 degrees with sunshine. Winter begins Tuesday with a high of just 55 right on target for this time of year. North Carolina 68 today, 65 tomorrow. The widespread rain on Saturday cools it off by a Sunday reaching down to 50 degrees. Monday's clear and sunny with a high of just 48. Now let's